This video was shot in Xinjiang, China, and this young man is an amazing thrower. His dad is on the right. He taught him to throw, and this fellow is making large jars with lids. He's using 15 kilos of clay, and he puts it, uh, after he gets it centered, he makes the lid first, and then he makes the body of the vessel. And the throwing style is very different than what you see in the U.S. I don't know how many pots he makes a day, but he can throw 2,000 pounds of clay in one day. There are dozens of pots outside drying under fans. The lids are behind his father's knee on those bats. The only tool he uses is a rib, which is made out of, a, out of a piece of metal roller. Uh, in this shop, there's a trimmer, is behind me, and then there's a whole other room where uh, other stuff is happening. This video was shot by Dan Vito of Fireborn Studios when he was in Zhendezhen, China, attending the Pottery Workshop in 2018. And this is a studio, which is a small family operation in an area called Lo Chang. They trim all these pots when they're uh, hard, leather hard, or bone dry. And um, they make them very thin, very light. So the limit on these one-piece pots is basically the length of the thrower's arm. See the lids. He throws a little slip on top of that. Puts a bat on, gets it centered. And he gets a little help here. A little extra muscle. The guy who's helping him out is his wedger and clay prepper. Actually, they don't wedge the clay, they just take it right out of the bag and, and uh, shape it. And you can see him throwing a lid in the background. And they're prepping that block of clay. So the amount of clay is uh, 15 kilos in one of those bags. So that's 2.2 times 15. It's, you know, like 35 pounds. Um, he's probably using about 4 pounds in the lid. Okay, so he's coning up and leaving a pen above. 
volcano hole in the middle. He dives in there with his left hand to open. Pushing out, opening the bottom. The first pull is off from the outside, necking and lifting. This is the trimmer over here. He's going to be adding these necks to these bases. The base, the uh, play bone guy. Okay, so now we're back here. He's got it completely up and pulled up from the outside only. This is the first pull from the inside coming up, left hand all the way in, push out the bottom. Okay. The right hand, I should say, all the way in. Left hand slides above the right hand. And it steadies the neck so it doesn't get off center. Okay, so it's all the way up now. He's in there up to his armpit. And from here on out, it's shaping, and as he flares this out into a very bulbous shape, it gets significantly shorter. Just like if you take a string that's straight and you make a curve in it, the distance from one end to the other decreases. The string doesn't get shorter, it just changes shape. He's got the ribbon of sand. So he's making a pot in approximately five minutes. Out of about 30 pounds of clay. And all he has to do is sit there and throw these pots and somebody brings in the clay and takes it away. His time is valuable. His skills are valuable. So did the father throw the pots? Father. Yeah, uh, did he did he throw the pots when he was younger? Yeah. He teach. After the uh, neck is centered, there's the cure. That's just a flat wheel head that he's working with there. Tapping on center. And he's going to wet it inside now. So he grabs a handful of dry clay, puts it on the bottom, and takes a stick and kind of pokes it under there. And that dry clay, combined with the water that was already slopped on there, kind of glues it down temporarily. We're getting a measurement for the diameter. He marks it, and he trims it off using this L-shaped tool. It's a very standard Jindajin trimming tool. 
So he throws one ton of clay a day, starts yeah. at 7 in the morning? Not, not really uh, much. Huh? Every day one ton, but at most he can throw one ton per day. So I wonder what a ton is in Chinese. If it's 2,000 kilos or 2,000 pounds. So they trim the inside and the outside. And they re wet as they trim. You can see ribbons of clay coming off now. And if it's totally dry, what you see is powder flying off. Now we can take a look outside. These are dry pieces. Yeah, it's a cart to carry things over the place. Uh, for the kiln. I mean, this is today's production. Under fans, drying. And on the right might be yesterday's production. So this guy is glazing greenware. He's pouring the glaze in down the side as it spins on a banding wheel. So it's completely covered. Dumps out the glaze into a bucket. There's not that much that comes out because most of it is stuck to the inside of the pot. Now directly into the hatchback. No, greenware. These are all greenware. Here they sell them, if they are like a factory and they do production, they sell them big fire. Yeah, they are, they are piece. Yeah, they are pots. But these pieces are green. Yeah, green. Because for the energy and money saving. Right. So you can buy them as bisque or you can buy them as greenware. Only greenware. when they want to sell the bisque they will bisque uh, them. Cheaper or as otherwise greenware. they just, just do once firing. Mm -hmm. Ah, they quite strong. That they can do delivery just like that. So what do you think? Is he going to make it home with these? I think they will all, all be broken. Okay, so this is all greenware. I have no idea how this guy is going to get it to where he needs to take it on these bumpy roads. <laughs>